Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a DIY video. I'm gonna show you how I make my own hand foaming soap. If you are on a budget or if you can't find a scent that you like, you can use whatever liquid soap that and turn it into a hand foaming soap. So a little backstory with this. I really got into hand foaming soaps, particularly Bed Bath, not Bed Bath and Beyond, <laughs> Bath and Body Works hand foaming soaps, um, in including this one, Japanese Cherry Blossom, when I was pregnant with my second baby. Um, I was just really sick in that pregnancy and washing my hands after an episode in the bathroom. It just made me feel clean and fresh and I loved it. So I thought in my third pregnancy I would want the same thing, so I stocked up on these and I found that it was too harsh. Um, like the smell was too strong for that pregnancy. I guess every pregnancy is different. And um, so I needed to look for an alternative. And it's great because you can use any liquid soap that you want. And even if you wanted to use dish soap and kind of like have a dish soap which cuts the grease as a hand soap in your kitchen, you can do that as well. So this is really easy. It's really affordable and it's really customizable. So if you're interested, please keep watching. What I use for my hand foaming soap is the soap that I use for my body wash. And it is this, it is the Johnson's Skin Nourish Shea and Cocoa Butter Wash. I mentioned this in my, um, my best baby skincare video, which I will link down below or you can check my channel. It was either the last video or, or a very recent video. And I use this bottle. So you are going to need a foaming dispenser, hand foaming dispenser. So I don't know if they, they probably sell it, um, just you can buy the dispenser, but this is just a recycled dispenser from Bath and Body Works. This is the one of the flavors or scents that I like. This was Japanese cherry blossom, just rinse it out. It's really easy. It's one part soap and then three parts um, water, warm water. So I'll show you how I do it. So I moved over to my sink. So it's super easy. This is all that you need. You need your hand foaming dispenser. You need your soap. You need a chopstick or something to stir it with and some water. Here you go. Just open this up. So you just open this up. You pour about up to here about a quarter of the way to the of the bottle. Just like that. And then you need to make sure, one of the keys is to make sure that the water is warm or close to hot because it needs to melt the, the soap. So it, is kind of like evenly distributed throughout the bottle. Okay, so now the water is hot. You fill it to the top, look like that. You take a chopstick, kind of swirl it around. You can kind of see it swirling through. Once this is all finished being mixed, then put the top back on. Make sure to not, not fill it too much or it'll come out of the sides. If it does, no worries, just rinse it out. And that is how you do your own foaming soap. your own simple, super affordable, super easy, customizable hand foaming soap. I hope this video helped. Um, please let me know if you try it down below. I'd love to hear which soap that you use and how it turned out. And if it ever turns out where it kind of, you see some of the soap kind of forming at the bottom, 
All you have to do is just take that chopstick and swirl it around and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you are not subscribed already. Leave a video request down below. I'd love to hear what videos you'd like to see me do next and I will see you in my next video. Bye.